Juan in Los Angeles. You're next. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hi, Juan. Hi, Leo. How are you? I'm wonderful. Uh, How are you? Good, good. You, you got me at, you know, I'm at the gym right now, so I'm a little bit winded. But, uh, <laughs> but I wanted good to... man. I like that. <laughs> I know, I know. But listen, um, lately I've been looking at Tor, T-O-R, yes. the browser. And part of the reason for it is because, you know, as uh, someone that loves technology, someone that loves information, I, I kind of feel that I have to know about it, use it, and as much as possible uh, be able to master it uh, for, for good use. But um, it, there's not a whole lot out there in terms of how to use uh, some of the technical complexities that come with it other than very obscure websites that probably are not good to use. Tor is a, an interesting story. Mm -hmm. I mean, Tor is a great story. I've interviewed the guy who invented it. He invented it, by the way, for the Navy at the Naval Research Labs. Uh, the Navy was looking for uh, ways to anonymize traffic. Tor stands for the onion router. And the reason they call it that is it's layers, like an onion, of servers. And the way it anonymizes you is really mostly through obscurity. So you enter the Tor network at a Tor input point. And when you use a Tor browser, it does this automatically. You don't have to use a Tor browser, by the way. You could put a Tor client on your computer, use your regular browser, but it's still going to go through that. And at that point, you're kind of known as you enter the Tor network, but then it routes you randomly through a variety of servers till you exit the Tor network. And the theory is that unless somebody can see it all globally, and, and you know that's very unlikely, they won't know who you are. They have to see your entrance point, your hops, and your exit point to connect you with where you're going. So Tor is used primarily for anonymity. Uh, it is a little tricky to set up. You're doing the easiest thing you can do, which is using a Tor browser. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. So we're talking about Tor. The Onion Router, the easiest way to use it is just to download the Tor browser from torproject.org. And uh, it, it's designed to kind of anonymize your internet access. There's some issues you should be aware of. Uh, the NSA, our National Security uh, Agency, the, the U.S. spy agency, uh, paid Carnegie Mellon University to crack Tor to provide a way to see inside of Tor, and it was uh, broken for six, six months. Uh, the, uh, or was it the FBI? Who paid them? I can't remember. But uh, the point being that Tor was not anonymous, and no one knew it wasn't anonymous um, until you know this came out. They were looking for two specific uh, crooks but during, it was FBI, that's who it was. But during this time, um, all Tor access was visible to the FBI. So that yeah, may not bother you. I mean, I'm not sure why you want to use Tor, but uh, you should just be aware that Tor is not a perfect system. It also slows down a little bit because you're surfing through a number of uh, sites. It isn't uh, like a VPN. It's don't, it, it, so Tor is designed to protect your privacy but it doesn't protect your data for that you want to use a VPN which encrypts your data locally eventually it has to emerge under the public internet uh, I think it's important to understand what you're trying to accomplish before you use a VPN or Tor and understand the, the pros and the cons of it Tor is a really interesting idea um, but its model of privacy probably is imperfect, particularly for a nation state, for a, an actor working for a government. It's going to keep, keep your, uh, your, your traffic anonymous from casual everyday snoops. But, uh, but, it, but uh, I, I don't feel like it's a good way to stay anonymous from the government. Maybe that's not an issue for you. I wouldn't imagine it is for most people.